Hey guys, it's Kirsten here with Showroom Spotlight for the week. Um, last week we talked about hubs and this week we are going to talk about hubcaps. Uh, first off, you need to know whether you have a P-spindle hubcap or a narrow spindle hubcap. With narrow, the best way to explain it is it is a smaller size as versus the parallel is a larger size. Uh, parallel means that both bearings are the same size, so the hub is straight versus the narrow spindle has a smaller and a larger bearing so that means it tapers off into a larger size hub with hubcaps there's different options whether it's grease or oil if you have tire inflation or if you don't have tire inflation here i have four examples uh, this one is a p-spindle because it's a larger hubcap it is meant for oil and there is no tire inflation this one is a narrow spindle this is also oil but see how it has a threaded center? This is meant for Meritor tire inflation. Uh, this is for the through tee to go and screw into the hubcap. This is what the Meritor tire hoses screw into, and I have an example of a hose. Then here I have a Tire Max Pro hubcap. This is meant for oil, and it is for the Hendrickson tire inflation system. This one is one of the most common hubcaps you'll see on trailers. This is narrow, oil, and then it has the rubber plug in the center. With this basic information on your hubcaps, we can figure out what you need to get yourself back on the road with or without a VIN number. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the Utility Keystone Parts Department. And I'm Kirsten, your partner in parts.